Want to save some money? Your kitchen could be the key. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com. We often spend money on kitchen related stuff without realizing how much it all adds up. You can save hundreds each year by making just a few little adjustments to how you approach your kitchen and your day-to-day -day life. Here are my favorite ways to save money in the kitchen. Do your absolute best not to waste any food. I know you know, we all do, but it's worth mentioning because it only takes a couple of little hacks to make the most of your food. And once you get into the routine of it, you will be amazed at the difference it can make. Wasting less food means it stretches into more meals and more snacks. And that means you buy less next time, which means you save money. Here are some of the ways we try to reduce food waste at our house. We eat fresh first. So we'll use up the fresh potatoes before we heat up the frozen oven chips. You could designate an eat first box or shelf in your pantry or fridge and that way you can see really easily what needs to be used up as a priority. Eat leftovers for lunch and snacks. You can put pretty much anything into a jaffle. Have homemade pizzas on Friday nights using up leftover produce. Make a big pot of soup on the weekend with any leftover produce and freeze it in small portions for lunches next week. If you buy two packets of biscuits, Hide the second packet so it doesn't get opened until the first one is finished. Google what to make with whatever you have left. There are so many good ideas out there. Organize your fridge and pantry. If you can easily see what you have without having to dig around, you're less likely to accidentally double buy, which is gonna save you money. Tiered shelves are great in your pantry for holding three times the normal amount of canned goods and then they're all easy to see at a glance. Keep the same things in the same spots all the time so it's easy to look for them. Get an airtight container and put all of your pasta packets in it together. If you can see it's full, you don't need to buy any more pasta. This also works with rice, dried beans, flour. Always keep a packet of pasta and a tin of tomatoes in your pantry for when you want an easy dinner but you don't want to spend money on takeaway. You just simmer the tomatoes in a little saucepan with a little bit of garlic and a sprinkle of mixed herbs while you're cooking your pasta in another saucepan and then you mix them together. Done. Challenge yourself to shop your pantry and your freezer once a season and do a week's worth of meals without going to the shops. You will save money and you'll clear out some space. Don't buy every gadget. Hey, if you really love a particular gadget, go for it. I have myself, but we don't need them all. Onion choppers are really cool, but a knife and a chopping board will do the same thing. You can chop a lemon in half and squeeze it with your hands instead of buying a squeezer. You can use your oven if you don't have an air fryer. You can drink instant coffee or use a French press and save thousands on a coffee machine. You can use a box grater if you don't have a food processor. You can mix cakes by hand if you don't have a stand mixer. You can slice up your veggies if you don't have a spiralizer. You can make popcorn on the stovetop or in the microwave if you don't have a popcorn machine. You can make bread in the oven if you don't have a bread maker. You can poach an egg in a saucepan or in a little bowl in the microwave if you don't have an egg poacher. I have a super old video on YouTube that teaches you how to do it in the microwave. I'll link you to that. I hope you found these ideas helpful and if you're ready for next steps in making life easier as a parent, you might want to check out my house and family binder. It's a simple set of prints that will help you reduce the mental load and streamline how you run your household. And I'm adding digital versions of each planning print as well. So you can use it on your phone or your computer and use it on the go if you want to. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <coughs> you can use your oven if you don't have a hair fryer. <laughs>